The back to school videos start right now. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's get into this video. Today's video is a part two to my earlier video called like online school tips or something like that. I'll link it below if you want to watch that, but let's get started with the tips. The tips that I wrote down, I tried to make them like not basic tips, like not the standard tips that you've definitely heard before. With that said, the first two tips you've definitely heard before, but I'm going to repeat them because I think they're very important. But anyway, the first big category is planning tips. So number one is build a routine and stick to it on the weekdays. And number two, get a planner. You don't even have to buy one. Just look up online free digital planner and there you go. Now moving on to the tips that you probably haven't heard at as much. Let's go. Set three goals or tasks for each day. So basically when you're making your to-do list, pick out the three most important things that you have to do that day and make sure you get those done. That will really make your to-do list more manageable. And another part of that is do things in the order of importance. So when you're completing your to-do list, start with the thing that's due the next day and not do the thing that's due in three weeks. Another part of planning is plan out your day the night before. And if you don't do that, you may end up forgetting assignments and just kind of the next day if you haven't planned out your day you're just gonna end up doing whatever you really like feel like doing and not getting everything done that you need so have a schedule for the next day that you've created the night before finally under planning is set attainable goals slash tasks on your to-do list like although it would be ideal to get every single thing ever done in one day that's not gonna happen and then when that doesn't happen you're gonna feel bad about yourself and your abilities so if you set goals that are attainable like read a chapter of a book instead of saying read the whole book that will be a lot better for your mindset and also be a lot less stressful Next is get on the same sleep schedule as everybody else in your house load. Therefore, everybody in your household will be working and having their productive times at the same time each day. And that'll just keep distractions to a minimum when you're trying to work because everybody else will be working and not bothering you. But with that said, there are some constraints to this. This is not possible for everybody. So if it's not possible for you, then I'd say find the time where you can be most productive, whether that's in the morning or in the evening and get all your work done then when you you can be the most focused and the most productive. So this tip is about note taking. So I've seen so many TikToks recently about people like creating aesthetically pleasing notes on like Procreate and Microsoft, whatever. It's really fun to create aesthetically pleasing notes. I mean, I guess that's fun. I think it is. It, it, in my experience, it has been fun. But spending four, five, seven hours creating aesthetically pleasing notes may not be the best use of your time because you could be spending those four, five, six, seven, however many hours actually studying instead of just making your notes look cool. So make your notes look neat, but you don't need to make them look like a Picasso or a Monet because that's not an efficient use of your time. Another tip, don't open TikTok while you're trying to study or doing any sort of schoolwork. Enough said. <laughs> Next tip, this is about music. Spotify, browse, focus. And then when you get to focus, here you can find a bunch of playlists made by Spotify that will really help you focus and it's really nice background music for when there's a little bit of noisy distractions. The playlists that I like are called All Nighter Playlists, Call Me Acoustic Playlists, and Chill Lo-Fi Study Beats. And obviously not everybody has Spotify, lots of people have Apple Music, so you can make your own playlist, you can look up study playlists on YouTube, those are free. And with that, invest in a good pair of earbuds that seals off your ears. You don't need like fancy ones at all, the ones I have were $14, I'll link those below. I really think it's worth it to have earbuds that seal off your ears when you're gonna be in an environment with a lot of people and some distracting sounds. Breaks. Set breaks into your schedule and write them down. So like when you're planning out your day, look at your schedule and be like, okay, I'm gonna take a 30 minute or an hour break between noon and one o'clock. Even then the next day when it hits noon and you're really feeling motivated and you really wanna continue, take that scheduled break anyway because then it becomes a habit to start and stop for the same amount of time or at the same time each day. Don't do housework or other productive work during your designated school time. Keep school work in its own little 
a bubble, if that makes sense. The next couple of tips, I kind of created them in their own category called work smarter, not harder. So number one under that category is don't overtake notes. I kind of have a tendency to write literally everything down. Just write down what you need to know. You don't need to write down literally every mm -hmm. single thing unless your teacher or professor tells you to write down every single thing. Number two is make sure you're reading when you're reading a textbook. Read only the things that need to be read. Number three under that category is about handwriting notes. So like, you know, there's studies and stuff that say handwriting your notes is better for retention and stuff. And yeah, I totally think that that's true. And I would recommend handwriting notes generally, but when you have like a hundred pages of reading that you have to take notes on, I think it's better to sacrifice the benefits of handwritten notes for typed notes, just because it'll take five times as long to handwrite those notes than to type them. But then if you only have to take notes on like five pages, I'd say handwrite them. It's all about costs and benefits. <laughs> then this next tip kind of reminds me of, you know, that meme of that drawing where half the drawing is really good and then the other half of the drawing is like a stick figure. This tip is like that. Basically what I'm trying to say is make sure you're putting solid effort throughout the assignment, whether it's a test or an essay or just a normal like homework assignment. The next one, it's gonna sound a little bit hypocritical to what I just said, but this is only applicable if you're crunched on time and you for some reason don't have enough time to put 100% into every part of the assignment. If it is the case where you're really crunched on time, put the most effort into the most important parts of the assignment. So like in an essay, that would be the thesis. In a math assignment, it would be the problems that are worth the most points. Another thing is don't spend more time trying to get out of class than the time you're spending studying because people will literally spend like hours trying to figure out how to get out of a Zoom meeting when instead you could be spending those hours like actually doing the work. Finally, under the work smarter, not harder category is if you have Google Chrome, go to Google Docs. And in Google Docs, when you're on Chrome or using the Google Docs app, I think, you can speak into your computer or iPad's microphone and then it will dictate what you're saying into the document, which is really nice when you're writing like the rough draft of a paper because then you can get all your ideas down really quickly without losing your train of thought. And now it's time for bluntness. Don't expect online school to be easier than normal school. Most school Schools already did the test run of online learning back in March, so now they've had like give or take three months to prepare the curriculum for this upcoming semester, so expect them to be a lot more prepared when you come back this semester, and if they're more prepared, then you should be prepared. Honestly, what I'm trying to say is just treat it like a normal semester, even though it's online. Do the work and show up on time. I'm going to conclude this video talking a little bit about your mindset and how to stay motivated. Okay, I literally also wrote this in the smallest text ever and I cannot read it at all. So hang on. Online school is not the productivity Olympics, nor is online school the who can do the least Olympics. Just stay in your own space and don't compare yourself to other classmates because there's always gonna be someone ahead of you and behind you in their ability to get the work done. Learn for you and also adopt a growth mindset. Look at everything as an opportunity for growth. Online learning is not what most of us signed up for. We're all in the same boat and like nobody thought that this would continue until now. We thought it was gonna end in May or June. Has it? No. While obviously the situation is not ideal, it's better to look on the bright side. Think of all the things that you're gonna be learning, even excluding the stuff that you're actually gonna learn in the classroom. You're learning important skills, like time management, self-sufficiency, going with the flow, how to deal with things you can't control, being accountable, work ethic, etc. So clearly that's good. And finally, accept that some days you're gonna be motivated, some days you won't be motivated, but you're still gonna be able to force yourself to get stuff done, and other days you're not gonna feel motivated motivated and you're not gonna want to do anything. So take advantage of the days that you are motivated and cut yourself some slack when you're feeling unmotivated. And those are all of my tips. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Really good luck with online school. I hope you do great. I really hope you do. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want to. Subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell on. Follow me on Instagram. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.